Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So, viewer viewers request. A uh, bunch of you guys wanted to see uh, or get a tour of the store that I'm at. So, we're going to do that today. All right. So, we're going to start over here in the corner. I got my my bag section here in front of the window with my distance you know practice social distancing signs facing out right so gotta have those on the door hopefully they'll be off soon but you know somebody's got to come up with a cure all right maybe one of you guys okay so bags here right i also got bags all around the store here so I pretty much, I pretty much use or try to use every square inch of this place, right? If this place had higher ceilings, there'll be more bags. So at the window, I got my, it's a Scort Capri. They call it a Scat Pre, right? It's all attached, you know, it's for when you ladies play in the early morning and it's cold, you know, you put this on, right? So it covers stuff and it keeps your legs kind of warm, right? Look, is that cute? Scat pre. And then you can wear that long sleeve, that long sleeve shirt, right? That breathes too. When you get hot, it lets the hot air out. Is it SPF 50? This one might not be. Uh, it's probably at least SPF 30. Big banana at the window. Somebody said, hey, there's big banana at the window when I was doing that racket. Well, here's big banana, right? Banana backpack, right? That's cute, isn't it? I don't mind this thing. It's not that bad. Like, is the the yellow is is I don't know. It's better. It's better on a bag. All right, moving on. So I we don't do much clothing here. Just basics and skirts. A few tops here. Um, this year is pretty much a loss for clothing because I can't anticipate uh people buying many clothes because you're gonna have to try it on and take it off um it's not going to be a good year for clothes so i pretty much canceled everything off because uh, i i just don't feel comfortable carrying clothes at this point i'll let i'll let lululemon take care of that part this year uh so so that's yeah that's all i got for clothes i got my clearance rack right here like some of the older stuff that from older seasons that you know just for one reason or another just didn't sell some t-shirts in the back for men got the women up front here uh got my last last cinda b bag so that's like i call it the hamptons bag you know for the that 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 lady with the you know, that goes out to the beach or something, or go to the tennis club, you know, all in style, you know, right? It's all style, high-end, high-end designer uh, tennis bags. Uh, I'm not sure why this didn't sell. It's a very, very functional bag. It probably doesn't look great because of the color and the darkness, but uh, I was actually going through this bag and I was like, that actually put a lot of thought in this bag. I mean, look at the compartments, right? And you even get a strap like that. So, I mean, it's, I mean, at the least it could be a diaper bag, right? Somebody should buy for, put your diapers in there and your racket, right? Come on, it's, it's half off. I don't know how much it is now, 35 bucks, maybe? Help me out, guys, buy the bag. 
All right. My editor told me that one of you asked for this jacket. I, I'm sorry I didn't get back to you. Um, so this is the model number on this jacket from Nike. Right. When when you asked me that question, I we went to look for it and I didn't have an extra large. So, uh, but we tried to look for your comment back and we kind of got lost. So if you're watching, uh, that's the thing. It's probably on sale already somewhere. Uh, and cause it's, it's $195. So it's probably in you know, $120 somewhere. I'm like I, I wear, I wore this jacket. It's, it is okay. It is okay. It's, it's like, I, was, I felt like I was wearing a rug. So it's just, I don't know. It wasn't that comfortable. Uh, but cause it doesn't, it, it looks like a rug and I thought it would keep me warmer. Uh, so, but yeah, these are the men's and men's tops and you know, just basically basic, basic, nothing, nothing spectacular. Okay. Just lost, forgot my shorts, need a short, you know, basically spilled coffee on my shirt, need a shirt. You know, that's pretty much what these are for. Like if you really need something, we, we, we don't, we don't do much in clothes uh, at all. All right. So right behind me, behind us here, just a small kid section, boy shorts, boy shirts, and some more shorts. And then the women's stuff or the girls stuff is over here. So not a whole lot of stuff, not a whole lot of stuff. And then the Clash Junior backpack. All right. All right, moving on. So front display, got my dampeners, got my single over grips. This is kind of the trend in bags right now for some reason, uh, these little duffels, all right? These little duffels, tennis ball saver. I sell maybe one of these a year now. <laughs> New tennis magazine. Uh, Wrist assist for those beginners. Moving on. So I use square here to collect the money. And then to my right are broken rackets. Right. My clock up there from Gamma. It's time to restring. Right. And then the rest of these are. Um, up top are uh, people's rackets that are ready for pickup. Tubes over here, grip pump spray for all the people who uh, have sweaty hands. Uh, this is kind of like anti-perspirant for your hands, just to keep it dry. So it comes in the lotion and a, a, script, a spray pump. Um, so these are tickets, tickets from Wimbledon 2008 so one signed by Nadal and the other one signed by Venus Williams and they were both champions that year all right so moving on down to the strings over here actually my sail rackets are here like some of these like take and go rackets like people who just want to play today uh, we got the head lasers, mid, mid size and over, mid plus and over size. Still got an A6 racket left in the 109. Um, I got some IDAPs left, actually. I should actually do a video on IDAPs, tell you what happened to them. Uh, junior Babalots, and then some bigger rackets, you know, for those people who, who need a bigger racket, right? Got my star, my star five, star five machine here. Um, and then we got strings right here like this. This is like most of our strings. There's definitely, there's more strings in the back too, but these are the most popular. Uh, as you can see, the top part is the guts, right? And then the elements, um, curse bomb on that left. I don't sell much of it anymore. Um, 
and then you see the you know the Wilsons and the Tecta Fibers, um, Salinkos on down. All right, so we do a lot of Luxalon, Wil Wilson, Gamma, uh, mostly Gamma here. We we love Gamma, uh, and uh, and Luxalon, and Salinko for the most part. Salinko does very well here because I love Salinko too. Uh, the area here, th these are our demos right now. There's also demos actually behind the counter on the bottom row. So uh, these are all our demos that we currently have in. There's a bunch of people that have our demos too. So in front of me here are the two Wilson Bayardos. Those of you who are smart people and saw my Yonex video and said, Oh, he's on a Yannick stringing team, but he's stringing on a, ba uh, a Wilson Viardo. <laughs> yeah, some some Yannick string team member. Well, do you know how much a Yannick stringing machine cost? They ain't giving me that stringing machine, right? It's eighty five hundred dollars, and it's not for the top end one, right? Does it make good business sense for me to carry? $20,000 in stringing machines? Think about it, right? I pretty much got two for one. I get two of these for one of those. So would you buy two Yonex stringing machines? Just because I'm on the Yonex stringing team doesn't mean they're giving it to me for free, right? So, so think about it business-wise, people. Thank you. All right, so here is the RDC machine that you guys see me on a lot uh, using to spec out rackets. Um, this machine is actually 15 years old. It, it wasn't purchased by me. It was purchased by somebody, my predecessor. So uh, they don't make these things anymore. When I was at a different place, uh, 25 30 years ago we had that babylon rdc machine that actually measured flex of the racket uh, but those are like things of the past like i tried to order one of those 10 years ago and they don't exist so i think the only rdc machines that you can get now is from europe um, the ones that you can do in America, you have to piece it together. Like you can get a swing weight by itself. You can get a scale by itself. And then you'd have to get a balance board by itself. So it doesn't come in like a one piece machine anymore. So it, it's been a, you know, kind of a struggle to, to look for a new version of this thing. So that's why we're keeping it around. Um, I've actually had people want to buy them from me, but I, I guess it's not profitable for people to, to make these machines because they probably don't sell too many a year. So um, over here are the reels that we string a lot of and then half sets that we've used. Um, we have Federer from 2017. Wimbledon, July 16th, Sunday. July 16th is my birthday, actually. That's cool. I just noticed that. So that was a, that's a ticket from, uh, from Wimbledon. All right. And then we got shoes, right? Gel Res 8 men's, SFX up there. Right, the new the new uh, Pro Pulse Rage, Pro Pulse Furies, Hypercourt Expresses, Hypercourt Supremes, the shoe of the year, Wave Exceed Tour Fours by Mizuno. Got my Soul Courts over there from Adidas. That one fell down. And those are all my junior shoes over there. So, Hi. all right, got my women's side of the shoes here. We got gel resolution eights, 
wave exceed fours, uh, wave exceed SLACs, Hypercord Express twos, Supremes, my Wilson shoes that aren't Woolworth anymore. Woolworth Walmart. You love Woolworth Walmart. I wish there was a Woolworth left now. I would totally just go in there and look. Got my Novak shoes down there. Cord FF2 for women up there. And I got my sale shoes right there. Those gel res sevens and the old solution speed, solution speed FFs and the wave exceed threes. All sale shoes. We got the sale shoes on the bottom here. These are all the women's sale shoes, $89.99. Gel Res 7s, Solution Speed FS from last year. Got the Jet Mock 2s from Babylon. Got the Wave Exceed 3s from Mizuno. All on sale for $89.99. Uh, the shoe wall is right here. We got the women's facing the front door, the glass as I call it and the men facing the wall so easy to remember right men facing the wall like i was a kid i was a bad boy usually so i was facing the wall a lot standing in the corner you guys do that too yeah i bet you do all right so got the socks over here mostly thorlo we do a lot of thorlo they came out with the different thicknesses now so um kind of something good for everyone I uh, got my Cadence Eden Souls here, the lower volume and the regulars. I did a video on that. Those are those are great insoles, guys, for the price. Um, try those. Uh, got a little squash. So don't carry many squash, but do have squash rackets here. Not many. All right. There's not that many squash quartz out here. Uh, pickleball. Pickleball is kind of picking up. We do, uh, we probably sell a few rackets every, uh, every month, but, um, yeah, it's a, it's a game that's starting to roll a little bit. Um, got my balls on the bottom. This is all I have right now, except for cases in the back. Uh, and I got my accessory wall here, sweatbands, elbow deals that I've been talking about, the, the 2XU, um, things that I... I talked to you guys about for a tennis elbow that works really well. So it's these, they come in pairs and singles. All right, and then I got hair ties for the girls, um, over grips, replacement grips, got the lead tape, tungsten tape here, vibration dampeners there, uh, you know, multi-packs over there on the right, more bags up top. All right, got Fed's racket there, Novak's there. And then uh, right here is where all the junior rackets here on the on the right side that I'm hitting hitting you with there. So the 21s, 23s, 25s, 26s. Uh, so the different length junior rackets. And then we go into our kind of a Babolat section right here. Right. As we move over, we got the Wilson section over here. Uh, we, you know, our number one seller is the Wilson Clash right now, so that's why you see all of those, all of these clashes. Um, and then, you know, the Pure Arrow Banana is probably the number two seller, so that's why you see so many bananas up there. And then we got the uh, head section with the Yonex section. And then the vocal section over here, and then the Dunlop section over here on the end. A lot of you people that watch the videos is like, what is that white racket down there? Or like next to the head racket. Yeah, it's a Wilson N1. Yeah, the big mama. Power, light, right? They brought this back. Quick start balls on the bottom. The green dots, the orange dots, the red dots. And we got the foam balls on the end. If you wanna maybe play indoors or in the garage and not destroy too much, right? All right. 
and then we got Got the little cap section over here. All right, you got the visors on the top and into the middle. And we got all the hats and then the sun hats on the bottom. These sun hats have actually been pretty popular. You know, the covers pretty much your whole head. And then, and then the sun protection and all that. So like, see, see the bottom? And then it breathes really well too. All right, and then you got an adjuster there, right? It's like a lot of teaching pros have started to use this. I call it the bird watching hat. Okay. And then we got just the, the display here. Those are actually pickleball bags down there. And then we got Rafa's, Rafa's racket here in the case in front. All right, so let's let's check the back out real quick now. Over here is my dressing room, right? You get to dress in front of my back stock of tennis balls, right? With the curtain here, right? So it's gonna be you and the balls. Ah, all right, so I got back stock of uh, my grips back here, right? I got Grommets down there. I got quick start balls there. All right. Uh, when I get a lot of clothes, I use this hanger thing and I fill it all up back here before bringing it outside. But this probably will remain pretty empty this year. My back stock of, uh, of strings are here. Like we don't have a big back storage room, big back storage room. So, uh, you know, this is kind of, kind of it for us. So, uh, store is about a thousand square feet. So it's good for, uh, it's good. For, it's good for like a specialty store. So, which is kind of what we are, right? I, I'm going to do a video on, uh, on, uh, because somebody asked me about, they were thinking about opening up a store in Chile. And uh, they were asking my advice of, should he, should he do a store? Should he do an online store? Uh, should he bother doing a store? Uh, so I'll do a video on that. So we'll go a little bit more in depth about, you know, retail a little bit more. All right. So that's the store. That's the tour. Uh, we'll do a field trip on the outside another day. All right. Thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.